Um, hello, I, I'm, my name's Robert Kane and I'm the singer with Dr. Feelgood and we play British rhythm and blues uh, and the reason I mention the word British is because we play rhythm and blues with a bit of an edge. The band has been going since the early 70s, but um, as with a lot of bands from that era, people leave, people join, and uh, so the, the last original member was Lee Brillo, who was the, um, the original singer, and he, he died in the 90s, and they got another singer in and kept going, but it didn't work out with him, and then I was recruited, I got, I got the job, so I've been with the, this is my 19th year with the band. Um, it, it wasn't difficult to blend in because the previous band that I was in was the Animals, so I'd already been I'd already been in Eric Burden's shoes, so I was used to the idea that I was stepping into someone else's shoes. So stepping into Lee Brillo's shoes uh, wasn't wasn't a problem. The the, the the important thing is don't copy them, don't try to be Eric Burden, don't try to be Lee Brillo. Do what you do as yourself, but in the spirit of the band that you're joining. Be yourself. The first music you hear are the records that your parents have in the house. And my, my parents were born in the 20s and 30s, so it was things like Bing Crosby and um, uh, Al Jolson that I, that I first heard. Yeah. Um, and I already, even as a small child, knew that I wanted to perform. I don't know, it was just there. It was just there. Yeah, and then the Beatles came along and I heard Twist and Shout, which is rhythm and blues, it's an Isley Brothers number, you know, and that changed my life. I knew I wanted to perform and I thought, at eight years old, that's what I want to do, I want to be able to do that. And so, if you can, you, it, it altered the course of my life, hearing that record, that one record. And of course, if you, if you listen to a band like the Beatles and the, and the, the other bands that were around at the time, like the Stones, the Animals, they, they, they all based their music on American rhythm and blues and rock and roll. So you investigate, you find Chuck Berry, you find Little Richard, you find Fats Domino, Carl Perkins, Bo Diddley, yeah. And that, then that takes you back into the blues, that takes you into Muddy Waters and, and John Lee Hooker and Howlin' Wolf. And then that takes you further back to uh, Robert Johnson and Blind Willie McTell and people like that. So it's, it's, it's a learning process and you absorb all this all, you know, every time, every time you hear a new record, that's something else that you, that you add. If you're on stage, what you want to get across is joy, 
You want people to enjoy themselves. You want, to go, you want people to, to walk away thinking, yes, I had a good time.